Yo, what is up guys? It is Vortex here and welcome back to another video on the channel. In this video, we are going to be going over update 6 in Reaper Simulator that just dropped right now. This update is pretty insane, there's some pretty good stuff added, so yeah, let's get right into it. Alright guys, so I've been grinding this game quite a bit, I've been grinding this game quite a bit, so as you can see, right when you load into the game, there's quite a bit of lighting changes around the map. Everything looks a lot more like vibrant. It looks a lot nicer. Some things look nicer. Some things look a little bit too bright. But for most of the uh, fact, it looks pretty good. It looks pretty nice all around. But we can go over here. We can click both of these chests. And there we go. We got both the chests. And they also changed, as you can see on the left, they changed the pets, the store, and the quest colors. So I have not done these week two quests because they are extremely, extremely hard. So... I can't do this, you have to get a streak of 25 plus ended, so I guess I can't do that. You have to do 10,000 crystal damage, you have to collect 1,000 blue essence orbs, which are like, I think, um, these orbs right here, so I think if I pick that up, so yes, it actually is, when you pick up an orb, that you have to pick up 1,000 of those blue orbs, you have to craft a 5 star pet, which is very, very difficult, and yeah, I also did this one, which is time play, but I basically just eh, hate the game, so I kind of got that pretty easily. But yeah, everything else is extremely hard, but I'm going to show you guys my pets right now. As you can see, I have a 4-star Timid Tim, as 65 times Blue Essence. I have two Pro Gamers, and they're both 40 times Blue Essence. Those are my pets right now. I'm trying to work towards getting a 5-star, but it's really, really hard. The eggs are so expensive, and it's just very, very difficult. So let's get into the new update. What they have added, guys, is that they have new scythe added. I think there's only tier 2 scythe. So yeah, if we go down here, there's quite a bit more scythe, and they're pretty expensive. And there is a new rank right here, as you can see, called the Archon. Archon. It, has, it costs 20 octillion coins. That's insane. That costs so many coins to get. I don't know if that's going to be happening in this video. It's going to be very, very difficult to get that. I guess we can just buy a couple scythes because we can just afford one of them. So there we go. We bought one scythe and I guess that's all we're going to be affording. So that's kind of kind of unfortunate. And over here, as you can see, they have capture points like in Saber Sim. They have capture points you can capture. I think there's three of them. So there's a coin one right here. There is a soul one right here. And there is a blue essence one. I'm pretty sure, but I'm not sure where it is. All right, guys. So you come up these like little platforms. You come up these little platforms right here onto the capture point. So I guess you stand here. And it says reward. Oh, you can see the like uh, jars like uh, emptying, and it's gonna fill up with mine probably. See, so, yeah, that's pretty cool. It's that's pretty cool. So now once it's filled, it'll probably show my name up here, and I'll probably have to wait for 60 seconds. So yeah, as you can see, I'm up there. I have to wait for 60 seconds, and hopefully no one else can take the capture point, and I should be good. And I can see how many coins I get. And also in the bottom right, guys, they add this feature where you can just straight up invite your friends. You just click it, and you can just invite all your friends. Basically, it's really really nice. So you can just do that really easily. But yeah, we're about to get the award or reward in 20 seconds. So let's wait and see what we get. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. There we go. We did not get that very many coins. We got very, very little coins, which is kind of unfortunate. We only got like a couple SX coins, which is really bad. I don't think that coin one is very, very worth grinding. It's kind of a waste. So I suggest you go for the soul one or the blue essence one if there is a blue essence one. I saw a blue essence one in the leaks, but I'm not sure if that's actually in the game. Maybe they removed it or something, but I'm not sure. But I guess we're going to go over here to the soul one, and we're going to see how many souls we can get. But yeah, guys, once you capture a point, you basically have to sit here and wait 60 seconds until you can get the reward, which is kind of annoying, but I mean, it's not that big of a deal because people can come over here and try and take it back if you took it from someone. But yeah, we're about to get this soul reward and see how many we can get. There we go, we got like around 200 souls, which is pretty bad, it's not really, I mean it's not terrible, but if like if you, I think you can, they also mentioned, you can have this in VIP servers, so I mean if you could have this in a VIP server, and you just capture all the points, that would be pretty OP, you can just get so much more stuff, especially from the souls, you'd have a ton of souls, but for just standing on there, it's not very, very worth it. And also guys, I don't think you guys recognize this, but they did add another super small update during the week. They add this little like volcano area over here, and they add this area in here. And once you get in here, there is a blue essence area right here that you can sit in and you can get blue essence. It's basically a little zone you can get blue essence in. And I get 60 blue essence per second per time I'm sitting in here. So this is pretty OP. This is pretty worth it. If I sit in here for like a little bit of time, I can get quite a bit of blue essence, which is pretty, pretty insane. But yeah, guys, they mentioned there is a blue essence like grinding area. 
like a capture point, but I don't know where it is. I'm not sure if it's in maybe one of these worlds. Oh, I guess I did find it. It is in one of these worlds, so I guess it is up there. Maybe it's in all three of the worlds. That'd be like insane if it is. So let's get this chest right here. We got like EDK essence just from that first chest, which is pretty insane. So let's go up here and capture this bl blue essence point and see how many essence we can get. All right, guys, here we are. We're going to take this blue essence tower right now. And then we're going to see how much blue essence we get. Hopefully, it's a pretty good amount. I don't know if it stacks because of pet multipliers. But if it does, that would be pretty insane. If we get, like, a thousand blue essence, that would be really, really good. Especially for if you have a VIP server because you can just basically farm infinite. Alright, guys, here we go. We are about to collect this blue essence tower. And we are going to be getting, let's see, one second. And we got, like, 4k. Wow, we got a ton. So we get this every minute. And we get 4k essence per. That's really, really good. That's honestly might even be worth standing on an AF King. I'm not really sure. But that's pretty OP. That's pretty OP. Especially in a VIP server. If you have all of these, you're kind of just like winning life. And also, if you guys care, if I hit a blue essence crystal, I get 438 per click. Which is a pretty good amount, I would say. I get 438 blue essence per click because of all of my insane pets. And also, guys, while I'm running to these other islands, I didn't mention this, but they actually did get rid of the pirate ship, as you can see in the background back there. They got rid of the black market ship. There was a black market ship, and there was, like, a pet that was being sold and a bunch of other stuff for, like, a pretty good deal, and it was pretty insane. It was pretty insane. There was, like, a super OP pet, but it was super hard to get. You could only get it for Robux or Souls, and it was just extremely, extremely hard to get. But we're going to go over here right now. We're going to collect this chest, and we're going to open a couple of eggs. And see if maybe, just maybe, we can get a legendary of another pet, like maybe an Astro Cat. Or maybe we can get a 5-star of a Cyber uh, Wolf, but I don't know if that's going to happen. So yeah, here we go. Alright guys, let's combine all our pets right now. We just opened quite a bit. I'm pretty sure, yeah, we ran out of Blue Essence, so we can equip all of them, or evolve all of them. So there we go. I don't know if we're going to be getting another 4-star. Or it looks like we did, so we did get another 4-star. It's pretty cool. We have 3 Cyber Wolves that are Tier 4. Um, so if we can get maybe two more, which would be pretty insane, we might be able to get a five star. And I wonder how good the five star would be. It's probably going to be insane. I don't know if he might be better than Tim and Tim in crystal wise, but it definitely will have a super insane coin multiplier. And also, guys, I didn't mention this, but I'm pretty sure they do have a bigger inventory. So they have for satchels. You can get better satchels now, even though I don't need it because I have the infinite one. Or so yeah, I have the infinite one, but there is. Quite a bit of better satchels you can buy. It's taking forever to load in, but they loaded in there. They go. But these are the satchels. They look pretty nice, but they give a pretty good better storage multiplier, but or storage size. But I have infinite, as I said, so it doesn't matter at all. And also, I'm going to be giving you guys a code right now that they had. It's in the description of the game, but it's like 40k likes or something. So, all right, there we go. I got pet received. I spelt it wrong like multiple times. I was trying to figure it out. So I got a pet, but I'm not sure what pet I got. Oh, I think this is the pet I got. So I got a log, and it's actually a two-star. So that's pretty cool. If you guys need help starting off, you can just put in that code, and you get a pretty good essence multiplier and a pretty good coin multiplier just for starting off. You get a super, super good pet just for starting. But for me, obviously, I don't really need the pet. It's kind of just a waste. There's no point in having it. So I don't need it, but I'm just going to leave it in my inventory for now. And as you guys can see at the top, I have 15.8 thousand souls. And I'm going to spend all of them right now on trying to get a mythic effect. Hopefully I can get one. And then once I get a mythic effect, I can try and get a mythic trail. And then I'm pretty much good. I'm pretty much set. So I'm going to purchase a bunch of these crates. And I'm going to time lapse me opening these crates. So hopefully we can get a mythic. That would be insane. So yeah. Oh, guys, we just got a mythic effect. We got planetary devastation. That's pretty insane. We just got a mythic effect. That's That was that took so long to get, and that was extremely hard off camera. I was grinding so many souls on this crate trying to get a mythic, and we just got another one on video, which is insane. I guess I had, like, super good luck on video. So there we go. We can check out this effect. Here it is 40 times. That's insane. That's even better than our wings, I'm pretty sure. So we can go to our wings. It is 35, and our effect is 40 times. That's insane. That is so OP. So I guess since we have, I said, thankfully, I didn't spend all of my um, souls on that crate. So I can spend a couple of them on this trail crate. And hopefully, if I get a mythic, then it's just proven that opening crates on video is just OP.
Alright guys, so sadly we did not get a mythic crate, so that's kind of unfortunate. We can actually buy one more. Let's just buy one more since we did get a refunded item because we already had it. So if we get a mythic right now, that would be pretty insane. Our luck would be pretty good. Oh, we just missed it. That sucks. We just missed that mythic. That's kind of unfortunate, but I cannot complain. I did get a mythic effect, which I think this is like probably one of the best because it's 40 times. And it's also way better than my wings, unless the wings I got were just like really, really bad for some reason. They're like a really bad mythic. But yeah, me selling now should be pretty OP since I have some pretty good pets and I have this effect. So yeah, we can sell right now. So we got a little bit of SP, but it's not that much. It's not that helpful. But I'm sure if we grind the game overnight, we should be waking up with a ton, especially if I buy the times four sell. That would be really, really OP. But yeah, but yeah guys, that's pretty much going to do it for this video. This update was kind of small, but it was pretty good content. It's a little bit small, but it was some pretty good stuff added. And they're up, they're adding like two updates a week, so I have to give them credit for at least but they're updating this frequent, and the updates are pretty good. They're adding some pretty good stuff, so yeah. That's pretty much going to do it for this video, guys. Sadly, I can't give pets away in this game yet because there is no trading, but if they do add trading, I will definitely be giving out... A ton of my pets they're just gonna be insane make sure you guys join the discord server the link is in the description i would give out pets in there but i sadly can't make sure to get some bgs merch the link is also in the description and make sure to subscribe to the channel guys we're almost at 4k subs and when we get there it's gonna be absolutely insane so yeah it's been vortex and i'm out peace